Development of the SCOOG grew out of a collaboration between Edinburgh University and NESTA, the National Endowment for Science, Technology and the Arts. The aim, to create an instrument which was truly inclusive. For many youngsters with disabilities, one of the greatest barriers to music has always been the dexterity required to play a more traditional musical instrument. What the SCOOG does is to remove that barrier, allowing them to make use of one of their greatest gifts, their imaginations. The SCOOG is a new universally accessible musical instrument. It's designed for use by children or adults with special needs, or in fact for use by anyone. It's soft, it's easy to play, it's robust, and it can be customised to suit anyone's abilities. The SCOOG helps children with special needs by allowing them to get involved in making music themselves. It's, it's an instrument that they can play and they can take ownership of and start creating their own sounds and, and music. This is probably as inclusive as you can get. I've seen the SCOOG used in this school with children who can hardly move at all, who are able to use the instrument to actually start to make music. Music can be an important part of any child's education, potentially more so when it comes to those with special needs. It's a means of self-expression, but can also help in the development of a wide range of important skills, from socialising to mathematics. Traditionally instruments are the shape and size and made of the materials they are because of the sound that they need to make. If you want something to sound like a plucked string, you need a, a string and it needs to be under tension. Whereas the, with the SCOOG, because it's a mixture of software and a sensor, then the computer can handle making the sound and so we can design an object that's designed to be touched and designed to be played with. In developing the SCOOG and actually working with kids in, in, the, in the schools and in the classroom, it's, it's really helped us make the SCOOG something that's usable by the children themselves. They've informed us massively on how it needs to work and they've given their opinion on, on colours and design and, and just the, the feedback that they've given to us has been just marvellous. It's just so um, enriching and it's really inspiring to actually work with these kids, particularly when you, you can provide them with an ability to start playing their own music as opposed to just taking part through, through listening and listening to other musicians and, and really learning from them. Children make progress with the SCOOG even within a session. Um, often it's, it's, it's necessary to customise the sensitivity of the SCOOG initially for children with very limited movement, but even within half an hour you can pull the sensitivity down as, as they work harder and you can see them gaining in confidence and skill and dexterity even, even within a few minutes. Um, the children here in Hillside can't really access conventional musical instruments um, because of difficulties with reading and maybe physical disabilities. The children really enjoy playing with the SCOOG um, and you can tell that from their body language and from their facial expression and a lot of our children vocalise um, and some have even tried to sing along with the backing tracks. The SCOOG may be simple to play, but the science behind it is seriously complex. Its development has involved expertise from a number of fields, including physics, acoustics, computer interaction and psychology. 